So here we are, and as you can see, I've now finished centering my character so that he just jumps up and kicks and lands all on the same spot. And if I get rid of the onion skinning, I will be able to show you that's what he does by dragging the bottom slider. So you'll see as he moves through, he just jumps up and kicks like so. And I've also spent some time adjusting the tweens between each of my key frames. Obviously the 25 that I had was way too slow and I didn't don't want him to do a slow motion kick. And you'll see between this frame and the next frame I've got two tweens. That's because I think it'll take him a little bit longer to go from standing to this position. But then you'll see from this frame to the next one I've only got one tween because he'll be launching himself quicker so it'll need less frames. There's one tween between there and the next one. One tween here because he's still going up quick. And then on the peak of his kick, you'll see I've added two tweens. And if I go to the next frame, frame six, it's exactly the same as frame five. And what that does is in effect makes him pause for a moment in the air so that when this animation is played you'll actually be able to see him do the kick and as he's falling you'll see we're back to one tween until he lands and then I've got two tweens because the landing and going back to the standing up straight is a little bit slower as far as tweens go, you, when you're doing your own animations, you'll just have to play around with those. Sometimes you might have tweens, sometimes you might have to draw every frame. It's really trial and error and sort of playing around with it based on the movements that you're doing. So what I'll do is I'll go into my main movie and I'll show you what this looks like by previewing it. see there it's just kicking over and over and you can see each time he reaches the peak of his kick there's a slight pause so that you notice that's what he's doing so obviously if I was to import this into go animate as it is now he would just keep looping like this inside go animate and that's really not a lot of use to you. What you want him to do is jump up, kick once, land and stay landed. So in order to do that we're going to have to do a very small bit of action scripting. Here's how we do it. I've got my animation on the last frame because that's where I want the animation to stop. The next thing I have to do is go into the view menu and open up the score timeline window which is this window here and normally this window opens on the timeline you can see here what we've got is a list of all the different objects in the timeline and where they occur within the timeline like on which frames so each time there's a circle, that object appears on that frame. Up here we've got 10 key frames. And this cream line here indicates that we're on frame 10, which is the last frame. To add the action script to make our movie stop on the last frame, we need to go to this tab, which is the Actions and Sounds tab. And we're going to add an action in. So we click on the plus sign. 
you'll see this menu comes up. We can just select this and go stop movie. We've got stop movie. Little circle in frame keyframe 10. What that will do is stop our movie at this point. So I now go now go back to the main movie and I preview this by playing in the web browser. You'll see he just kicks once. I have to do replay each time I want him to do it. Kick. So that's how you stop your character from looping if you only want them to perform an action once. So all that's left to do is to take my character, perhaps size him just a little bit bigger because we want him perhaps a tiny bit bigger when we first put him on the stage in Go Animate. So we have him about that big. And then we need to center him. So we'll center him roughly where his waistline is. And export that to Go Animate by going export publish movie. There's flash movie. And I've given him a name which stick figure jump kick. And save. That's all ready for me to go into Go Animate. So here we are in the Go Animate studio. As you can see, I've already set up a scene with two stick figure guys. And this is the guy that we're going to add my custom jump kick to. Hopefully make him kick the other guy in the face. I've already set up my scenes ready for my sample animation. So now we just click the import button and select the flash animation tab. to upload our file, find the file on the drive, Oops, my file there, and select upload, and we're going to upload this as an other prop, give it a name, I'll just leave it as is and add some tags. Figure, jump, kick. And I'm going to take this off public and upload it. And I'll get my newly uploaded prop and drag it out onto the stage. Now I'm going to resize my custom stick figure to match the size of my GoAnimate stick figure. That looks about right. Now I'm going to put him in the same spot as the GoAnimate stick figure. So now that I've resized him, I'll just select that. Select my character and go copy. I'll go to frame two and go paste. And then I'll need to put him on frame three and go paste. And on frame three, this guy has got to react to the kick, so I'll change his action to get hit, fall down instant. Now we go back to frame one. 
get rid of my character. So that just the go animate characters there. And I'm just going to adjust the time of the first scene to two seconds. And now if we preview this, with any luck you'll see this go animate character jump and kick him in the face and he'll fall down. So let's see. That's the preview. And there you go. That's our character added in, doing the kick. Do that again. So there you go, that's how you can create your own custom stick figure actions. Obviously, if I worked a bit harder on mine, I could get that looking much smoother and much better. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I've sort of put that together really quickly. And it's only taken me sort of maybe two or three hours work at most from start to finish from planning the actual animation to executing it and bringing it my custom figure into GoAnimate.